one social media post. That's all it took to take down a young footballer, brimming with talent and destined for greatness at one of the world's most famous clubs. One lone spell helped his career rise like a phoenix. This is the story of Mason Greenwood. Let's kick it off. Mason Greenwood's early days at Manchester United were nothing short of spectacular. Picture this, a young, incredibly talented kid joining up at the age of six and quickly becoming a standout player in their development school. Greenwood was not just any player, he was a goal-scoring machine right from the start. In the 2017-18 season, while still eligible for the under-16s, he played for the under-18 squad and finished as the top scorer of the under-18 Premier League North with 17 goals in 21 games. Imagine the buzz around the kid. He even snagged the Player of the Tournament award, showing he wasn't just a local wonder, but had international flair too. By July 2018, Greenwood was already rubbing shoulders with the first team, traveling with them on their pre-season tour of the United States. He made his non-competitive debut against Club America as a substitute. Talk about a dream coming true! In October of the same year, he signed his first professional contract with Manchester United, marking a significant milestone in his burgeoning career. The real kicker came in the 2018-19 season, when, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's management, Greenwood made his competitive debut in a Champions League match against Paris Saint-Germain. At just 17 years and 156 days, he became the second youngest player to represent Manchester United in European competition. That's a record only Norman Whiteside had beaten before. And just four days later, he made his Premier League debut against Arsenal, becoming one of United's youngest league debutants. Greenwood didn't stop there. His first goal for United came in a Europa League match against Astana, making him the club's youngest ever goal scorer in European competition at 17 years, 353 days. That goal was something special. It was under pressure, and Greenwood showed composure and confidence that belied his young age. He controlled the ball, faked a shot, then turned back and fired low straight through the goalkeeper's legs. The Old Trafford crowd roared with relief and admiration. From then on, Greenwood's knack for finding the back of the net seemed almost second nature. Throughout the 2019-20 season, Greenwood continued to impress, scoring goals in both the Premier League and Europa League while showcasing his versatility and scoring ability. His goals weren't just ordinary, they were often crucial, coming in key moments and helping United secure vital points or progress in competitions. By the 2020-21 season, Greenwood had established himself as a key player for Manchester United. He was given the iconic number 11 shirt, joining the ranks of club legends like Ryan Giggs. He kept scoring goals, including his first in the FA Cup and UEFA Champions League. His performances earned him a nomination for the Premier League Player of the Month in April. But then, everything came to a screeching halt. In January 2022, a social media post with horrible accusations surfaced that would turn Greenwood's world upside down. He faced allegations of attempted rape, assault, and controlling behavior, charges so serious that they couldn't be ignored. United suspended him as the legal process unfolded, and the world of football watched in shock as this once promising star's career hung in the balance. In February 2023, the charges against Greenwood were dropped because key witnesses backed out. The Crown Prosecution Service said they couldn't realistically convict him, but his reputation and career took a huge hit. Manchester United, after a lot of public pressure and internal talks, kicked him out. They looked into it and found that while he didn't do what he was charged with, he admitted to other mistakes. His teammates and the football world were shocked. The focus wasn't just on the legal stuff, but also on Greenwood's bad behavior. He was known for dissing other players like Cristiano Ronaldo and being mean to younger players. His attitude seemed as bad as the legal issues. Manchester United, not wanting to rush into anything, launched their own investigation into the whole ordeal. The club wanted to check things out for themselves. They made it clear that Greenwood wouldn't return to training or play matches until they had the whole picture. Now this was some made-for-TV juicy drama. Fans and pundits alike were heavily divided over it. While some were saying 
he's been cleared, let him play. Others were totally not on board with that idea. The club had been conducting a detailed internal investigation since February 2023. The process involved gathering information and context beyond what was available in the public domain, including input from those with direct knowledge of the case. Manchester United still had a moral and ethical dilemma on their hands, especially with the fan base. Some fans, especially female supporters, were really angry about Greenwood possibly returning to Manchester United. They said they'd stop supporting the club if he stays because they were concerned about the message his comeback would send regarding violence against women. On the other hand, many fans are supporting Greenwood. They argue he was cleared of any criminal wrongdoing, so therefore he's paid his penance and there was no true evidence of guilt. A gigantic, greenwood size knot that Manchester United had to weave through and untangle. This decision involved every one of their top decision makers, even up to potential owners. Fabrizio Romano, a well-known football journalist, reported that incoming co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe had been involved in discussions about Greenwood's situation, indicating the complexity and high-profile nature of the decision-making process. However, it was also reported that Greenwood had reservations about returning to the Premier League with United or any other side, and instead fancied making Spain his permanent home. But the decision was up to the Manchester United brain trust or alone a way to quiet the outside noise. And the decision was made to loan Mason Greenwood to Getafe in Spain, where his road to redemption would begin. Mason Greenwood's time at Getafe was a big step in getting his football career back on track. After some tough times and legal issues that made people doubt him, he needed a fresh start. While at Getafe, Greenwood really trained hard. After two years of being on the sidelines, he was ready to show off his skills to the world again. He'd always been skilled at dribbling, pinpoint passes, and a depth scoring touch. This was his chance to prove he still had it. And boy, did he! The guy started out on literal fire in Spain. He scored three goals and made four assists in 14 La Liga appearances, proving he still had the skills to be a star in football. Even the Getafe boss, Jose Bordalas, has been all praises for Greenwood, but also said he needed to learn more Spanish to reach his top form. This stint has been crucial for Greenwood. It was his chance to show the world what he's made of after being sidelined for so long, and he has has run with it, showing a maturity that he was sorely lacking before. It wasn't just about playing football, though. Greenwood had to show he was sorry and earn back people's trust. He did this by playing well and showing he was serious about his game. Slowly, people started to believe him again. With these eye-opening performances, Greenwood has seen his value skyrocket. Katafi is keen on signing him permanently. And guess who else is eyeing him? Big-name clubs like Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid. That's some serious attention. But there'll be so many more teams that could have a crack at signing a high-end talent for a cut-rate price. However, his fate hangs in the balance of decision-makers at Manchester United. All he can do is keep playing well and staying out of trouble. Now, it's your turn. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and let us know your comments below. Has Mason Greenwood done enough to make up for all the bad PR? Or will he be taking his talents to a new team? Which one? Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Check out some of our other videos here. And until next time, keep your love for the game alive and see ya on the pitch.